Hey everyone, the Unpro Pro here again, and welcome back to another episode of the Game Editor series, and actually I have to launch Game Editor first. Yay, how Unpro. Oh, let me find it. Game Editor. Uh, here we go, Game Editor .exe. And it should open here in a couple seconds. Come on then. There we go. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, I get like this little glitch error every time I use a uh, one, but it's okay. Only because it creates like, this weird extension or whatnot. But anyways, now, uh, okay, this time we're going to go over screen scrolling. And uh, one method of screen limiting. Now there are much better methods for this. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw some more tiles here. There are much better methods, but I'm just going to use the one that I'm easily, like, more aware of, you know. Uh, I don't know why, that kind of reminds me of Darkwing Duck. I don't have no idea why. Maybe because of black, I don't know. Black background and, like, just plain land. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Wait, what's going on? I like, it's spazzed. Uh, anyways. Now we're going to make, like, a little wall here where you have to platform yourself up there. And to make sure that it's, uh, snapped correctly, you can do, like, something like that. You know, where you just, you draw, like, a, like a zigzag, and then you just like that for example and then you just kinda follow to it and yeah well you just erase the uh... whatever you left behind so alright <laughs> if that makes any sense so now okay alright what I'm gonna do now is actually hang on let me go ahead and find that one method really quick be right back Alright guys, I found it, and what you need to do is go to your view, and then click Draw Actor. Now I have it copied, and uh, I'll go ahead and paste it. It lied to me! <clears throat> Why'd it lie? Alright, so I'll be right back again. Hold on, sorry. Okay guys, here it is. I apologize about that. Alright, so, um, okay, really quick though, before I continue this, I'm going to go ahead and say, the reason I like do not such pro things is because people get bored of watching you know something that's completely direct all the time you know if, I mean if you're not like talking during the tutorial and if you're not being I don't know, like stupid or something during the tutorial and if you're not making mistakes you know it's just like okay they know that you're that you're gonna do it perfect and I mean yeah that's a good thing and don't get me wrong I just like to do things a little bit different so I like to show you guys how to do stuff and at the same time you know just act like well, normal I guess somewhat normal <laughs> anyways okay you see this here this is the maximum uh, the maximum X that the view can reach right now if you hover the mouse over like these numbers right here if you have the mouse in the corner you can see the uh, the X is negative 320 and the Y is negative 240 so what we're gonna do is uh, make this negative 320 on the uh, the other side. Here, I'll go ahead and uh, type this and get it. <clears throat> this is just copied code from a previous game that I was working on. Uh, so we're going to change the values a little bit, but this is view.x equals min minimum and max maximum. Uh, copy that like the exact way it looks right there, and then we're going to change the values after you're done doing that. So you can pause the video if you want. Okay, so now that you're done doing that, I, you know, I kind of assume that you pause the video, so... <laughs> okay, so anyways, <laughs> we're going to change that to negative 320, and this to negative 240. And, um... No, wait. No, max is negative 240. It's a little bit different than, uh... It's, it's weird. I, I I can't really understand this fully either. Not yet. Kinda, it's, it confuses me, too, so... So the maximum Y is... In, in between parentheses, negative 240 minus uh, 480. Now, what that'll do is, like, it'll, it'll minimum, it'll make it to where you can only go two screens up. Now, we're going to change this right here to, in between parentheses, view dot width. Wait, oops, hang on. Negative 240 uh, plus, in between parentheses, view dot width times five so that means we're only going to be able to go five screens over 
I know that looks very confusing and I honestly don't even know how to begin to explain how that works but it does and now we're gonna make the view follow the player so how we do that is uh... okay we're on, be right back <laughs> there's, all, there's a lot of ways of doing this one is if call.x screen is greater we can do all that uh, but I'm gonna do this the easy way but I'll be right back okay guys I'm back <laughs> um, okay what's our collision actors name I forget okay collider so it's uh, replaced this is again copied code from my original thing um, we're gonna change the values again so I'm gonna copy this put it in the get it file uh, change x plus five well you're not gonna have to change this just hang on 640 divided by 2 and this is gonna be 480 divided by 2 and change col dot x to collider dot x wait is it collider collider okay it's collider I'm gonna go ahead and edit this really quick and you guys can copy it when I'm done I'll let you know when to copy it Six forty or eighty. Okay, uh, so go ahead and copy that. You can pause it if you need to. Pausing. Okay. Um, all right, go ahead and pause it. Okay, now that you now that you've written down that, let's go ahead and uh, apply it. Now, as you can see, the view is now moving. And, uh, yeah. Now, how awesome is that, guys? And look at it, it's actually a smooth view, too. But, you may have, you may or may not notice, uh, the skull. It leaves behind us! Okay, so how we fix that is very simple. Click here, you click parent, you click view. And now, simple as that, the skull follows us! La be damned! Alright, so uh, we, we're going five screens over, so what that means is the view will stop moving, certainly, uh, so here in a little bit. So let's go ahead and, uh, wait, did I move that? No. Sometimes if you press Control Z, though, like the text will become tiny in the original font for some reason. Uh, anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and draw, like, just long, like, bar of line, like, stuff. Okay. <laughs> This is just to see how far like five screens really is. Again, you know, with the multiplication, the uh, the time thing. Oh yeah, and that's another really cool thing. You, when you collide into the roof, you actually like collide like real video game style. You know what I mean, homie? What I'm saying no, <laughs> but um, pretty much what I mean is like you don't collide pixel at you know like direct pixeling and whatnot. Golly, how many screens is five, man? Did I do that right? Did I, did I do that right? Hope I did. Dag it. Okay. Okay, now we should definitely not be like two screens over. So anyways, this is screen moving. Pretty soon I'll go over like collecting items and crap like that and everything that everybody needs to know for game designing and stuff. I'm about ready to change the five to two or something, man. Jeez. There we go. And that's when your screen stops. Now, before I end this off, I want to show you a very simple thing to stop the player from moving outside of the view. Uh, in your draw actor of the player, right here, type in if collider dot x screen is greater than 32, then then the uh, collider dot x minus equal speed. I'll copy that. Put a negate it file here. Okay, so that's how it should look, but not that spaced out. But if you do it in game editor, it'll look normal. And uh, this should be this is for the case negative one. For the case one, it should be less than in between parentheses view dot width minus thirty two, and then plus. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and just retype it. For me, it's fine. Um. If collider dot not o lighter what the f okay what's going on like why can I not type c 
There we go. That was weird. That was like, it wouldn't let me type C. That was odd. Collider.x screen is less than. Wait. Yeah. Hopefully, I didn't do that for the other one, too. No, I, I think I got it right. <laughs> View dot width minus 32. And. That should work. Now, let's see. Yep. Now the player cannot leave the view. At all! Okay. Now there are other ways of fixing it to where he'll actually stop instead of keep running. And, uh, I don't have really, I don't really have much time to do that. I haven't unlocked my 15 minute mark yet. Plus I gotta get ready to go to church, so. Yeah. Alrighty. So there you go. And yep, it works. It works awesomely! Alright guys, see you later. Thank you all for watching.